Hey everybody, time for another iPhone app review. I'm Ryan Ritchie from the digitallifestyle.tv. Today we're taking a look at Bar Twitter. What's Bar Twitter, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked, because you're about to know. So if we've got this bar set up here, here is the top of the bar. Behind it we have various liquor, and I should point out, as the disclaimer does at the beginning of this app, this app is for entertainment purposes only. That said, essentially the idea is to figure out just how drunk you may be, or theoretically would be, if this wasn't just for entertainment purposes. So you can pick some sort of alcohol over here. I'm going to bring this whiskey down. And up here at the top, you'll see this clock, and as I move it left and right, I'm saying how long ago uh, I had that drink. So let's say that was at 3.30, and we'll drop it right there. Now, if it was a special size, bigger, smaller, more, uh, higher proof or whatever, I could double-click on it, change the proof settings, the amount, and so on. What you can't do easily is move it around on the bar uh, from one place to another. And you'll see there's also a beer I placed here a little bit earlier. Not that I had one, of course. And you can get the beer either from pulling it down or you can use the tap just like this and drop that on here as well. So essentially then, if you go down here, click on the bottom left button, tap rather, you'll get this. They're not calling it a uh, breathalyzer because <laughs> it's really not Analyzing your breath, obviously, but we're going to blow in the hole here. And once that's done, it'll analyze and give you a result. Now, what you can do with that result is to send it as a Twitter message. Because wouldn't you like everyone to know how drunk you theoretically would be uh, if you weren't using this for entertainment purposes only. So to go back to the bar for a minute, it is, like I was saying, difficult to move the drinks around down here. Back in the left, you're going to see ads for some other apps, and that's kind of the unfortunate thing about this. It's only a 99-cent app, but still, if you're going to have ads in the background, and it is sort of an entertainment purpose silly app, it seems silly to pay for it and to see ads for other apps. But at any rate, I mean, it does what it sets out to do. You take your drinks, bring them down here, figure out what time you had it. And by the way, if you were actually drunk, I, I don't think you could actually work this interface very well, especially when it comes to putting the drink precisely where it should go on the timeline. At any rate, that's a look at Bar Twitter for the iPhone and iPod Touch. For the digitallifestyle.tv, I'm Ryan Ritchie.